what's up y'all so i'm on my way to do a little driving for dollars with my boy desmond y'all seen him before about to go pick him up about to do some driving about to get some some deals man so yesterday night i uh <laughs> i hit up my dad i said hit up he was right upstairs but hey you trying to go knock on these two doors because there were two foreclosures in bellingham which is where i'm living right now so i was like let's go knock on their doors first one I knock, as soon as I knock, a dog goes nuts. And I hear a man go, shut up! And then, no, nobody came to the door. And I knocked on the door again, nobody came to the door. So I left my little flyer, as I always do. And then I knocked on the second door. And for the first time ever in my career, I was invited inside of someone's house. It was so cool. So it was an older gentleman. He was 80 years old, looked 60. He looked great for 80. And uh, he opened the door and I'm talking to him and he's like halfway shutting the door in my face. And I'm just weaseling my way in there through the, through the crack of the door, I'm weaseling my way in there. So I finally get to the point where I'm like, hey, can you take down my, my contact information? He's like, yeah, uh, come in, come in. So he invited me in and we were in there talking for like 30 minutes about life, about the house, about foreclosure, about everything. So it went from him almost shutting the door in my face to him being pretty cool with me and, and wanting to talk and trusting me enough to tell me the numbers and tell me things, which was pretty, pretty cool. So that was my first time ever crossed it off the bucket list. I had a foreclosure at the door invite me inside which was fucking fantastic. So I'm about to go pick up Desmond and we're gonna do some things and we'll have some more, hopefully, I can't say, I can't promise, but hopefully we'll get some good content for you guys. So I'll see y'all later. And look, hold on, look at my hands. Bro, I was in the lazy river the other day. I said the other day, when I was in Florida, when I went to Florida, I was in the lazy river. I got lazy in the river, wanted to swim under the water was swimming and nicked the side and ruined my beautiful hands. Can you believe that? But yeah, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> hey bro, so here I am editing this Driving for Dollars video with my boy Desmond and I had my girl Brooke and her boyfriend in the car and we had you know a couple phone calls, a couple good things happened, but here's the problem. I had the phone set up on my little camera holder thingy in front of my AC unit and it was hot as hell yesterday, so I had my AC running. So now the video sounds like ish. Bad business. Bad business. So no content is coming from that. And also, another thing, I dropped the ball on the first place we went to, right? So me and Desmond, this was before we picked up Brooke and her, her boy. We went to one place, right? Knock on the door. It's like a, it's a, it's a minute and a half. It's a nice, nice house. Million dollar property. Knock on the door, give him a rundown, say what I gotta say. He's like, yeah, yeah, my house isn't in foreclosure. I'm like, look, man, uh, you might wanna look it up. I mean, not look it up. You might wanna call your mortgage company and talk to them. There might have been a mistake. I ran two mistakes before, so this just might be one. So I give him my information. I said, give me a call if you need me. I walk back out, I'm sitting in front of my car, and I'm trying to get the address for the new place but I don't have service, so it's taking a minute. So we're sitting out of his house, we're sitting in front of his house for like <laughs> two minutes and he comes storming out. So I run out the window because I think he's about to talk to me. I run out the window, he says something. I look at this and I'm like, what did he say? Oh, he's taking a picture of your license plate. So I see dude run to the back of my car, take a picture of my license plate. And so I roll the window down, I'm like, hey, did you get a chance to talk to the mortgage company yet? Oh, like, damn well he didn't, but I, you know, that's a way to get, get him talking. He's like, man, you need to get out of here before I call 911. I'm like, look, man, I'm not here for that. I'm just here to talk to you about foreclosure. Not really worried about that. I asked him for his name first. He didn't want to tell me his name. So I just keep talking to him, keep letting him. I'm like, hey, you know, while you're here, let me go ahead and look up the exact notice that sent me here. The exact notice that I saw to put your address down and drive here. So it's like, okay, cool. So obviously there's no service. So I'm trying to use my hotspot on my computer. No dice, trying to look it up on my phone. No dice, doesn't work. So he's like, 
I'm like, hey man, listen, it, I have no service here. Do you mind giving me your number so I can send you a text? At this point, he kind of trusts me. He's like, yeah, take down my number. I was like, okay, what's your name? And he kind of smirked and he told me his name. So I, I he, he was on 1 billion. I got him down to like 102. I got to calm him down a little bit and he told me his information. Then about 20 minutes later when I get good service, when I get to a place where I can send him the information, I look it up and I find it and I send it to him. Now, this house that I went to was in Foxborough. The address on that was in Atterboro. But usually when you find something out there that's the same address, when you go to look it up, it'll tell you both, Attleboro and Foxborough. This place, the, uh, the maps only told me Attleboro. I mean, the maps only told me Foxborough. So I just put it in Foxborough and it brought me there. He's like, yeah, there's another one in Attleboro. People get us mixed up all the time. So honest mistake, I get it. So I'm glad he didn't end up calling the police. Now he has a picture of my license. He has my full name. But I mean, come on, guys. I don't sell drugs. Um, I don't have a record. Run my information. Run me. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Get, you can have any information you want. I don't care. But, um, yeah, so that was that. And then, obviously, no no uh, content with the driving for dollars. But we did take a good picture that I'm going to put as a thumbnail. So, you know, and, and I'll also throw it at the back of this video just so y'all can see it again how about that but hey give me a like give me a subscribe give me all that bro just take two seconds just like it for your boy and i'm gonna holler at y'all later man